Hey, what's going on, y'all? Jay from JS Films. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at eight RTX 6000 ATIS inside NVIDIA Omniverse USD Composer. Just a disclaimer, this machine is not locally here, physically in my room, because I really wouldn't want this power bill. I'm actually remoted to Renderbox's setup. This is their computer. But what we'll do right now is just play around with it in the editor and obviously rendering. Before we've tested, you know, eight RTX 4090s and four RTX 4090s, and so on and so forth. So now we're doing 6,000 ATIS. Now these are the new RTX 6,000 ATA cards, 48 gigabytes a piece of VRAM. So it's pretty beasty. And if you're looking at this right now, you're gonna see the NVIDIA Omniverse USD Composer is only using about three of them right now because we are only in real time ray tracing. So it's actually scaling it, which is kind of cool. But if I switch this over now to interactive path tracing, that is automatically going to turn on the rest of the GPUs, as you can see right here. All right. And in the editor, what I really want to test out right off the bat is how much this will resolve path tracing in editor. So what I want you to pay attention to is the path tracing right here. This is 512 samples per pixel. And I am at 2718 by 1710 resolution as far as our editor here. And as you can see, the image looks crisp and looks amazing. If you haven't seen this environment, uh, basically over here, we have a lot more foliage. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut right about right here and see how fast that's going to resolve 512 samples per pixel in path trace mode. All right, so here we go. I'm going to click to maybe 700 right there. We're going to watch that top right corner. And we're looking for this time right now. All right, so there's going to be some delay, some lag. That's 134, 232, 321. So about 10 seconds right now. So about 17 seconds. It rendered path tracing with all of this. That's freaking insane and to kind of put things in perspective what i'm going to do is turn off multiple gpu so that we can see how fast that's going to do right so i'm going to go back to zero here and it was about frame 707 and then the right side i'm just going to disable multiple gpu okay so that's off we're only using one rtx 6000 ada now and again i'm going to click roughly about right here so we're going to watch that once more. So let's go. Should be around the same time. That's about seven, 714 frames. It's, it's only off by seven frames. So here we go with one RTX 6000 ATIS. All right. 90 seconds to resolve one frame. So, so that's, that's truly incredible because in that 90 seconds, of me rendering a frame. I'm probably on social media swiping and watching reels and stuff instead of creating and doing things. Because if I only have to wait 17 seconds to render, I might be able to watch one video, right? So you kind of see what I'm trying to get at is by rendering faster, you're gonna have a lot more time for yourself to be creative versus doing something that's not very creative. And that's one of those things that I know people say, if time is really money, 17 seconds of frame to resolve in path tracing with eight cards, that's definitely a huge difference. And the argument here is eventually, you don't necessarily have to rent out a render farm because you can have one of this machine in your studio and it would be your render farm for you. That's truly truly incredible that you can have this in one machine granted it's humongous but still very impressive so that being said that's the editor what i'm going to do now is i'm going to render all right all right so let's go to our rendering tab movie capture because we're going to render a frame of this 24 frames per second 4k ultra hd we're not going light on this man 3840 by 2160, 69, interactive path trace mode. We are going to be doing 
this is only eight. I don't know who had 256 GPUs. All right, so let's go over our settings and make sure I got everything right. I only want to render this frame, 2048 samples, no motion blur because it's just a still. So I will say capture current frame and I will pull up the task manager. So we want to make sure that all the GPUs are working like they're supposed to. All right, first one is working about 85%, 70%, 76, 71. Perfect. NVIDIA Omniverse uh, is utilizing all of the GPUs which is what we want to see. So here we go, elapsed time, 12 seconds, 14 seconds. And again, this is a lot more because we're doing the 2048 samples per pixel versus just 512. So it's going to be a lot more than our editor tests. Additionally, the resolution is also Ultra HD for freaking K. 4K path tracing, 2048 samples per pixel. This is unheard of. Nobody's crazy enough to be doing this. To be honest, this is this is nuts. All right, 90%, 95% on all of our GPUs. That's good. That's very good. It finished in 47 seconds, y'all. 47 seconds. Let's take a look at the image just to make sure that it actually took. I didn't even get to talk. Oh, actually, it's this one. Okay, let's open the picture up. And yeah, that is beautiful. 47 seconds path traced, 2048 samples per pixel in 4K. If time is really money, you will have so much time in your hand. Bro, like I don't even render regular real-time ray tracing in Unreal right now for 47 seconds of frame. Not in 4K. Not in 4K. But we just did in NVIDIA Omniverse. And again, this is the reason why I started NVIDIA Omniverse in the first place. Because multiple GPUs will save studios and indie developers filmmakers animators so much time and money in the future this is truly incredible and what i will do is just kind of give you an idea on how long say like 1000 frames which that's how much we have right now instead of rendering one frame let's see what the estimated time is to render a thousand frames in 4k all right, so I'm not gonna change anything else in here, but on the top, zero to 1,000, okay? So this is like a movie now that we're rendering. And I'm gonna say capture sequence. This is still in path trace mode. By now, somewhere in Europe, you're going to start seeing flickering lights and maybe some power outage. But that's okay, because I'm in Las Vegas. I don't have to worry about it. All right, here we go. Elapsed time, 17 seconds of frame. Again, man, this is beautiful. All the GPUs are working like they're supposed to. Everyone equally working. Nobody's slacking. Nobody's picking up anybody's slack. This, this is what you want to see in a multiple GPU type of rendering. And render boxes, they are just... I have... The comments I'm seeing right now... People are just in shock because they're like, how the fuck is this possible? How are they able to put eight RTX 6000s in, in one computer? I... Seven hours and 15 minutes. That's it. To put this in perspective... I have rendered 720p in Unreal Engine and path tracing with just one meta human and a simple static mesh and three lights, which took me about three days. And if you've rendered path tracing in the past before, seven hours in Ultra HD, in seven hours in path tracing with 2048 samples per pixel, bruh. 
this is straight up just beautiful. It, it, seven hours. That's a thousand frames. So that's pretty much it for this video. Eight RTX 6008 is in NVIDIA Omniverse USD Composer. All the GPUs are being utilized in path tracing. Amazing, amazing performance. If you want to check out this machine, obviously go to the description below. I'll put the link in there. They have a lot more systems. They Their custom stations are pretty insane. They have a computer for all for all budgets, really. But this one right here, I can see being used in like a big, you know, studio, AAA, Hollywood type of studio or TV or something like that. Because this is freaking insanity. That being said, I would love to know your opinion on this. Leave it in the comments below. We'll chat it out. We'll talk about it. You know how we do it here in Jay's Films. Till then, I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace out.